video four things that I think can improve your business, your reselling, uh, your attitude, a bunch of stuff. Very simple, four steps. Welcome everybody, it's Mike, the Golden State Picker. And today, nothing we found, nothing we sold. A video, four things that I think can improve your business, your reselling, uh, your attitude, a bunch of stuff. Very simple, four steps. Four things that I follow in my uh, business here, uh, reselling on Amazon and eBay. If you're new, uh, I'm Mike, and I'm out of San Jose, California, better known, Silicon Valley. So I find some pretty cool stuff here, and uh, I've been reselling for five full years on eBay and Amazon with over $350,000 a year gross sales total for both platforms. Now, I wanna pass along stuff to you through my channel. I wanna show you the stuff I found, talk about reselling, and today it's not about the stuff I found or sold, but this kind of stuff. So let's dive into the four things. We'll make the video quick and concise so you can get some uh, inspiration, hopefully. Ah, uh, all right, now, uh, like I said, these are four things that I follow almost always. I mean, I make mistakes within these, but in general, hey, it has been my motto, okay? Number one, successful people are curious, very curious. Ever since I was a kid, I was that way. I always was learning something, keeping my avenues open in my uh, my vision, basically, right? We don't want to be like this because it's very narrow. We want to open up everything and be very curious. That's what successful people do. You call it open-mindedness, whatever. I call it curiosity, right? Uh, successful people are we're always looking for an edge. And the way you get those edges is you just got to really be open to everything and then something will come to you, right? The thought pattern is that by being curious, that one idea or a twist on a thought or idea may take you to the next level. That's it. We're talking about how do we grow our businesses? How do we expand our horizons? And that's by this curiosity and openness and to different ideas and so forth and so on. And then, you know, like, oh, you might say, hey, I'm never going to sell that kind of stuff. Well, maybe you got to be a little more curious to see what's going on over here. That's me. I, I'm always looking. I want to know a little bit from everybody, right? Basically, we say, teach me. That's what I want to know. I want to know uh, anything that can help me. So basically, I'm saying, hey, teach me. Teach me what glass is. Teach me what this is. Teach me how to be better. They want to know why and how something works. Why does glass work for you? Why does books work for you? Why does uh, whatever, you know, work? Why? And that is that curiosity, right? Right. So we basically approach the business eager to learn. That's curiosity. Being open to learning, to uh, experiencing different things so that you never know. I never knew that I was gonna get into too heavy books, but I never knew I was gonna get into manga or anime as much as I, as I have. So that's very fascinating to me. So uh, that's because my curiosity, also making money, it made a big difference, right? Okay, so keep that one in mind. Number two, successful people never bow to criticism. It's a weird headline. I just wanna give you uh, the gist of this, okay? Um, becoming a master of your emotions. We don't make rash decisions, all that kind of stuff. Our emotions sort of got to be in check. You hear me talk about no emotional attachment, all that kind of stuff, but it's in general. We don't want to be emotionally attached to others that criticize us. So we got to be very careful, right? right? Successful people expect criticism. We are going to expect that. I'm on YouTube, I get it all the time. Screw ups or somebody doesn't like me or whatever. Um, that's criticism. Now there is that kind of criticism, but there's also constructive criticism. We gotta keep that in mind, right? Um, that's what I'm talking about. There's good criticism and obviously bad criticism. But many get rattled about any kind of criticism and especially the ones that are kind of directed at you or more pointed at you. Um, that kind of 
uh, criticism, right? Think about this. Many of us have started our business and there are so many people are, that were our so-called friends that were very skeptical of what you were doing. They didn't even understand. Most people still don't understand what reselling is all about. They just have no clue. What, what are you doing? What? Why are you wasting your time doing that? You'll never be successful at that. That's kind of criticism. It's kind of pointed at you, right? Successful people are too busy to be wrapped up in other people's business, basically. You know what I mean? Uh, those people over here, uh, okay, you go do that. I have this vision. I have this idea. I'm going to run with it, and I'm going to make it work for me. I'm not going to worry about you. You're going to criticize. That's fine. Okay, that kind of criticism. Some people don't deal. Well, successful people don't deal in personalities. They deal in ideas. Wow, that's a good one. Think about that. Don't deal in personalities. I deal in ideas. Give me help. Give me ideas. I'm not interested in uh, the personality. You just don't like what I do, etc. So we have to be wary of criticism. There is good criticism that helps us expand, but we are um, not going to bow down to this negative criticism. Maybe that's what the headline should be, right? We don't want to bow down to that. Number three, here it comes. Successful people don't expect immediate compensation. Now, basically you hear me talk about this, but I'm gonna call it different. People call it the microwave or the Amazon thinking. Uh, and what I mean by that is the microwave, man. We can cook a meal in a minute. Boom, we got something cooked. Uh, Amazon, I want it now. Give it to me now. I want it in uh, the same day. It's getting to that point. Some things you can get the same day in Amazon. Or I want it tomorrow. Okay, that's the thinking that I'm talking about here. Okay, the immediate gratification. Okay, um, if you're in business, there is some gratification, but maybe it's not immediate. And maybe it's not the overall gratification that you're thinking about that you want to be 5, 10, 15 years from now. So we have to... Um, tamper down and expect these things to take a little while to grow. You know, I use the, bam the bamboo, right? You plant a bamboo forest. It takes five years for the root system to develop, but as soon as it breaks free, it can grow up to four feet in length in one day. But nobody saw the five years that it took beneath the surface, right? Something's happening. The same thing here, right? Successful people believe that every effort will eventually lead to some sort of compensation. That is huge, right? Uh, I, I know that if I'm building my inventory, if I start out with 10 items, well, I can't expect to make uh, sell all 10. When I get 20, 30, 40, 100, 2,000, that's what I have. Many have more. You're building an inventory. You're giving yourself a chance to grow. You make mistakes. You correct those mistakes. All of that kind of stuff. And you hopefully are building a tighter and tighter system or process around yourself so that it can grow. And then the gratification continues to roll along. Many of us were criticized along the way. Again, why are you looking for this junk to sell? Why are you wasting your time on and on, right? Successful people are not swayed by that type of thinking and realize that the vision isn't now, it's down the road, okay? You're gonna have to sacrifice now for the future. You hear that over and over, that's no different in anything we do. Whatever you put in today, okay, like the bamboo, is going to cultivate, and hopefully if you're doing it correctly and you're not poisoning the system or the process and you're completely within yourself, it will grow, it will expand into a much bigger um, overall system, right? Building the foundation for the growth to come. That's basically all we're doing. You got, you, you know, you hear it all, you know, you gotta learn to walk before you run, crawl before you walk, all that kind of stuff. It's no different. It is a slow process reselling, especially when you're starting out because you don't know. You don't, hey, when I first started out, I was buying stuff I should have never bought. And I had some of that stuff in this garage that is now cleared out. Hopefully I don't make as many mistakes as I go along and get better. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Number four, and I think this one is the most important for me. 
Successful people are the master of communication. Wow, we're going to get it tied in here in a second. Successful people are masters of interpersonal communications, okay? You will not grow your business if it's just basically you. You need outside help, okay? And you hear me talk about that. The key word here is networking, understanding everything around you, the people around you, who you are building things around you. They know that their success is built on their interactions within their network of advocates. Keyword. Your circle contains some people over here, and then there's some people over here. The people over here may have all the negative thoughts, and the people over here have all the positive thoughts. You don't align with the negative advocates. You want to align with the positive advocates. You need to find these people that align with you, right? Advocates are ones who think like you, do like you. We've got to continue to grow, and we grow by finding people that are like you, that understand what you're doing, and then they give you something, and you give them something in back, and this circle expands and gets bigger, and pretty soon you've got a nice network to deal with in certain situations. You may have a question about something, and this person over here can answer that question, and they might have a question for you, and then they might have a connection over here for you. And how many times have I told you that's how I get my big licks? My licks generally happen because I knew somebody, and that somebody came to me and said, hey, Mike, I thought of you for this. That's how it works. And then these people who are the negative people, those have to be pushed away. It's unfortunate, but you have to realize who is with you and who is basically against you. And that is huge. You know, um, I can tell you that whenever I have certain things happen to me from an outside uh, source or person that is negative, it can really affect you mentally. It can work more so on you than sometimes the positive side. So you've got to sometimes say, okay, I've had enough of you. You've got to go over here and stay over here. Okay, it's just not working. And it can really be a bummer. So keep that in mind, right? The inner circle of people who you want to hang around with is the bottom line. That's it. Uh, if you do these four things and, and just kind of, there's many more. These are just four. But if you do the curiosity, let me go back and look. The curiosity, uh, don't bow down to people and their criticism. Um, don't expect things to happen right away. Just enjoy the ride, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the ride. I'm just trying to figure out what's going to happen next, you know, that kind of thing. And remember, everybody you hang around with, everyone, is going to have an influence on you. So you get to choose. You get to choose the positive people or the negative people. And I advise you to take the positive people. So there you go. That's four things. Pretty quick, pretty simple. I hope they help you in some way. I hope it gives you just a little bit of uh, a spin because every so often we need something. We need somebody to say, hey, this is what's going on and this is how I think and this is what I'm doing. And that's what this channel is about. It's about trying to help you, trying to influence you to get better. We want you to expand if you're a reseller. And if you're not doing reselling, we want you to step in with the tools that make you better right away, okay? And it starts with you, okay? You have to make those decisions. I can't, nobody else can on YouTube. Those decisions are yours. And if you do them right, you're gonna be successful. That's the bottom line. All right, we ask one thing here. Like, subscribe, bell notification. That's it, we put out a couple of videos every week. And uh, we thank you, and I hope to see you in my next video.